the front end of the airplane and I wanted to specifically show the linkage of the rudder pedals to the nose wheel steering mechanism. To begin with you have these outside linkages that you're going to be building. You're going to put inserts on here and then rivet these pieces together which allows your front rudder pedals and your rear rudder, rudder pedals to travel at the same point. And that's on both sides here. On the inside, you will make up a couple of rods here with some ball rod ends, and it will link the nose wheel steering mechanism with your rudder pedals. So when you turn your rudders, as you can see, you're also turning your, lamp, your uh, nose wheel. <laughs> there we go. A pretty straightforward and simple assembly procedure. The thing you want to be that's important is to make sure that your rod uh, ends, the balls are free to travel inside of here. You're going to have the bolt head pointing in. This is your AN3 bolt. Inside here is a washer and then on the other side is a washer so that the ball rod end is captured by the two washers and then they have a self-locking nut. That's tightened down enough to hold this in place but yet allow this room to move on both ends and that's true for all of the uh, rod end assemblies in this project is that you want to make sure that these things are not binding and that they have room to move and yet they're nice and secure same way over here these are called clevis uh, inserts and they're just simply a rod that, a bolt that goes through and then when you put your bolts in you want to make sure you have at least three threads showing through the end of the bolt or through the nut when it's secured properly. And uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but very effective for ground steering and of course lots of good rudder for when you're flying.